Mexico has a similar problem to TNT when it comes to the illegal smuggling of arms and ammunition across its border and a crime problem, including in relation to gun violence. And so, when Mexico chose to appeal the case it initially lost against gun manufacturers in the United States, this country decided to join in support, along with Jamaica, two other regional countries, and 16 U.S. states. The legislation being challenged is the Protection of Lawful Commerce in Arms Act, which exonerates gun manufacturers from civil liability if their weapons are used to commit crimes. Attorney Sean Sobers is now questioning the decision by the government as he shuts down the Prime Minister's statement that gun manufacturers who know where their guns are going and the damage they can cause are finding protection under U.S. law. How could a gun manufacturer somewhere quite to quite to in the U.S. making an, a, a gun, a pistol, or an assault weapon, or whatever it is, will absolutely know where the gun is going to end up. Save and accept for when he operates within the parameters of the law in the U.S. with respect to sales and background checks to persons who are entitled to bear arms in the U.S. Is the Prime Minister basically indicating to persons within this country and CARICOM at large that U.S. gun manufacturers are clairvoyant? that they are psychics, that all of them, while they're creating guns, have a crystal ball that will tell them that this particular firearm is going to end up in the hands of some errant or criminal element who is going to utilize that to wreak carnage. The attorney highlights that in the first lawsuit in which Mexico lost, the judge acknowledged that the U.S. law provided protection for gun manufacturers if their weapons are misused by criminals when the product functions as was designed and intended. So joining Mexico in initiating an appeal now to a law that exists that protects gun manufacturers in the, in the United States is a moot point as well too. We must then ask ourselves, what is the purpose of joining Mexico in this lawsuit? Sobas believes there were elements missing from the recently concluded regional crime symposium. What should have come out from that symposium? What we expected as a responsible opposition would have been discussions centered around border security and border management. Because that is the cause of the problems with respect to gun violence within Trinidad and Tobago. Sober says that TNT should be championing such a plan which other CARICOM countries might be able to utilize to assist them with the border security problem. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News.